Hello everybody, Mr. K here with a quick lesson on actually dividing fractions. There are two ways I teach to divide a fraction. The first way we're going to do is called the butterfly method. So, for example, we have two fractions. We got three-eighths divided by two-thirds. Now, when I say butterfly, that's what it sounds like, a butterfly. You're going to cross. So you're going to take one numerator, multiply it by the opposite denominator. So in this case, we got three times three. All right, you can take the other numerator, multiply it by the opposite denominator. So we got two times eight. All right, so three times three is nine. Eight times two is 16. Now, you take your products from the two numbers that you multiply and you create your fraction. The number on this side is always your numerator. So when we put our fraction together, this equals 9 over 16, okay? Now, next thing we gotta do is simplify or reduce whichever term you like to use. So we gotta figure out what common factors greater than one that nine and 16 both share. So what numbers can we multiply to get nine? We have one times nine, and we have three times three. Those are the factors of nine, all right? For 16, we have one times 16, two times eight, and four times four. And those are your factors for 16. So just based off these numbers, what is the greatest common factor both nine and 16 share? And there is none. So in this case, nine sixteenths is your answer and it's already in a simplified form because they don't have any common factors involved. All right, now, so that's the butterfly method. Now, let's change it up. We're still dividing. Now, let's do keep change flip. So, I think we had 3 eighths divided by 2 thirds. Now, although we're using a different strategy, the answer should still result in the same if we do it correctly. All right. So, now, when keep change flip, that means we're going to keep something. We're going to change something. and then we're gonna flip something. All right, so now what we're gonna keep is we're gonna keep our first fraction, 3 8 as it is. No changes to it, we'll keep it as it is. We're gonna change our division sign to multiplication, and then we're gonna flip our last fraction. So instead of saying 2 thirds, we're gonna go 3 over 2. All right, now. In the last example, butterfly, we multiply diagonal. We made the butterfly symbol. This time, since we're doing keep, change, flip, we actually going to multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator, and denominator times denominator. All right, in this case, three plus three times nine, three times three is nine, eight times two is 16. Same answer, different strategies. And that, my friends, is how you divide fractions.